Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. Anton's here. Hey! Uh, we have another Christmas movie that Anton found. Um, this is one that I had looked at doing last year and just kind of ran out of time before holiday season was over, so I'm excited to talk about this one. Do you want to read the synopsis? When a selfish country music star meets an untimely end, she cannot enter heaven unless she reunites a widower and his children in time for Christmas. Yeah, and the unlikely angel in question is played by Dolly Parton, which is kind of funny because, like, at least everything that I know about Dolly Parton, like, everybody thinks about her as, like, being very sweet. So, like, I'm very interested to see her as, like, this bad person that needs to be better for Christmas. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's, like, a... What what level of selfish? Are we thinking, like, Grinch-level selfishness? Or are we thinking, Does she, like, like, kick puppies? Yeah. Or does she, like, you know... It's like, oh, I'm not gonna share my snacks. <laughs> <laughs> There's levels. That intro just looks very 90s. Yeah, 96. This was the year that both of us were that, born. Yeah, yeah. That both of us were born. It did not take long for them to be like, we got Dolly Parton, she needs to be singing. Absolutely. Look at them jeans. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I would do that if I, if I was yep. producing a movie with Dolly Parton. Well, we talked about this in the last movie. Like, they gave that girl, like, a lot of songs because she was, like, a unknown singer. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It's like, if that's the draw, if people know them for singing, you have them sing. And when we did, what was it, a uh, Christmas? Wish? No. A Christmas gift. A, a Christmas, Christmas gift. gift. Yeah, they yeah. had John Denver singing. Yeah. Original songs by Dolly Parton. Of course. Yeah, I think people forget how, like, uh, known Dolly Parton is for just being good at writing songs. Like, mm -hmm. she wrote I Will Always Love You and uh, Jolene on the same day. Mm -hmm. Like, It's crazy. Yeah. She crazy good. Yeah, you, you know I ain't that good. No, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are, Dolly. It's okay. You better watch your hands next time or I'm sending you home to your wife. I like how everybody has a cowboy hat on. Yeah, not a single person without one. Oh, no, I think I saw one person with a cat. They were like, someone needs to not have it. Oh, until she walked into the light, I'm like, that could have been a double. We can't see who that is. This is very sketchy. My family just wanted to see my new truck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what the kids are calling it now. You haven't exactly been living in no convent, you know. So far, I haven't seen her do anything terribly selfish. Yeah. There's not a guy in three states that you haven't come on to. Maybe she was, like, hitting on guys? I mean, it's I not... think she's just an entertainer. Like, I don't think... You didn't want to get tied down to anybody. I know. What? He said, you've been leading guys on, and she said, you're right. Oh. So, I don't know. But it doesn't seem that selfish. She's not, like... No, it doesn't seem that bad. It just kind of seems like she's an entertainer, and, like, yeah. he's kind of gaslighting her. I blame myself for hanging around this dump. That doesn't seem that selfish. No. You're never going to change. And neither am I. It just seems like, yeah, we outgrown each other. Yeah. We should move on. So won't you just give me my money and hit the road? Oh, he got her the gig, and he doesn't like that she has the yeah. gig. It's like, dude, the car's sweet. Maybe once her name wants to come over and see this car next. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to play in a real classy joint someday. Her name is Ruby Diamond. Two uh, crystals. Yeah. Nothing less for Dolly Parton. Yeah. <laughs> Swerves into the tree. Oh, oh no! The deer is just chilling. Yikes! My grandmother once got in a bad car accident because she swerved to tr not hit a squirrel. Oh jeez! I once accidentally ran over a bunny. Oh. It would have been fine had it deci not decided to stop halfway and then go back the other way. Oh no! I want somebody's dog once ran out in front of me and I like hit the brakes just in time, but I was like so scared, I like wanted to cry. I was like, I almost hit the dog. I guess this is how you do fog. <laughs> this you is guys, a lot of fog. And maybe you guys should have used this fog for um, for Marley's Angels. <laughs> it looks like a Cottonelle commercial. Yeah, yeah. Philly cream cheese. Yeah. Or uh, Red Bull gives you wings. Yes. <laughs> is it a push to open, or? You may call me Peter. Oh. Ah. Uh. You're not. I don't like to say it, but, uh... It's like, I don't mean to brag, but... My mama used to say, don't hide your light under a bushel. Oh, I know. She still does. He said that, like, he was exhausted at the yeah. thought of her mother. <laughs> I don't suppose Uncle Clem is... Oh. <laughs> like, we would never. Oh, <laughs> what, what did he what do? Is, what is going on with Uncle Clem? I don't... 
What did Uncle Clem do? Are you absolutely certain I'm dead? <laughs> Are we sure? Can I get a second opinion? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Peter is a very uh, astute British man. Did you see the angels just floating away? Yeah. yeah, the wings aren't even flapping. No. They're just decorative. It's like that scene in Sister Act 2 where she's doing like, in the beginning where she's doing like the Vegas routine. Yeah. You begin to lose your memory after the first couple of thousand years. Ah, understandable. You have never thought of anyone else but yourself. But I'm not getting that vibe from, we didn't see her do that. I began thinking about that little deer. The one whose life you saved on that mountain road. I thought. I should give you a chance to redeem yourself. To redeem yourself. You will have the week remaining until Christmas. Always Christmas. Always. Now, if the mission is a success, you will get your wings. And if it's not... Oh, no. <laughs> Peter! Rules. Oh, I hate rules. I know. I feel like there was almost a di another scene where she was like meaner and they cut it because yeah. it's Dolly Parton. Yeah, they're like, we can't make Dolly Parton look too mean. America's <laughs> gonna hate us. <laughs> well, given your affection for the opposite sex, it might present quite a challenge. Give it my best shot. <laughs> She's very sympathetic for somebody who like is like, no, you can't go into heaven. But if you need me, look heavenward. I'll try and respond promptly. I'll try. He'll keep his beeper on him. You must have completed your mission by Christmas Eve. Of course, midnight. You do have a choir. You know, I always wondered about that. And I was... Peter? He's gone. He, he, he batman out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. She's out of there, too. Found the trap door. Oh. Oh, dear. They couldn't have just transported her? I don't care if you have to move heaven and earth. Huh. You get it? Uh, because it's the <laughs> angel movie. <laughs> get Al to call me ASAP. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god, they literally just dropped her in some guy's front lawn! All I need is a guitar and I'll be ready for the sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> if it was like two feet closer to her... Yeah, she would have just... I mean, she's already dead. Oh, yes, that's true. But it probably would have still hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Such untrustworthy boyfriend always rides yeah. a bike. I guess a motorcycle is just the symbol of poor life choices to 90s movies. Yeah, and leather jackets. Oh yeah. I guess ever since James Dean? I guess so. Rebel without a cause. Yeah. That guy had several causes. Yeah. My kids haven't liked anybody that the agency has sent over. Oh, I guess I'm a nanny. <laughs> I guess so. I like your attitude. Oh, I like the braids. Okay. I didn't even really notice that. No. Oh wow, it's really intricate. Yeah. You know, most of the nannies, they look like normal. Well, I mean, not that you're not normal. <laughs> oh my god! You're very normal. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Is this dude down bad or what's going on? Oh my on? god! <laughs> my wife passed away. Don't try to get the kids to express their feelings about it because- We don't talk about feelings in this family. Bury them deep, deep, deep down. Yeah. Me and these kids are gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Ben Bartleson. Oh, yo, those phones where you have to, like, pull out the antenna. Yeah. But it's not attached to the wall, so, like, they're a swanky family. Yeah. Al, where have you been? The meeting's been pushed to 1030. Business dad. Does business does dad. Does business thing, dad, dad thing. job. Dad, wait! I gotta talk to you about something. Email me, honey. I gotta go. Damn it! Email me. Can't even call me on the phone. <laughs> he peels out. Yeah. It's like, I can't wait to not be around my kids anymore. He's skirt-skirted out of there. It's almost Christmas. Duh. These kids need the attitude. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. These kids. I don't know why Dolly Parton's getting dumped on. Uh, I mean, I guess they are just kids. Yeah. Show a little bit of respect. Yeah. We're always left alone. We're used to it. Oh. Now watch two movies in a row of a kid like sadly looking at pictures of their parents. <laughs> yeah, he has like a Marvel origin story. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, literally, like Guardians of the Galaxy opening was like yeah, the yeah, saddest yeah. thing I've ever seen. Wow, I mean, yeah. the first five minutes well, of up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, was that like her scarf or something? Probably. Wait, so the kid just like gets up and gets fully dressed just to like be on vacation? I do that. Oh, see, I always, I, I, I always just like stay in my pajamas. I just think as I like decide to go out. Yeah. Oh, what? What am I hearing in the background? Fireplace. Oh, it's a fireplace. Okay. It almost sounded like a, like a clicking. Notice there is not a sign of Christmas in this house. Well, we don't really celebrate Christmas around here anymore. Well, 
Oh, anymore. Oh. Well, it, it may be none of my business. You're right. It isn't any of your business. <laughs> my name is Ruby, and I'd like you to remember that. Respect, dude. It's where your kids get it from. Did she just steal the... the I think she did. Yeah, the teenager's leather jacket? I think she did. I think she's like, oh, I could give it back. So where does she go now? <laughs> uh, yeah, is there a bed and breakfast, Peter? Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah you go to the church. Yeah. Is there a bed and breakfast in the church, Peter? <laughs> I don't know. Like, there are many churches that, like, just allow people to, like, sleep there. Or... Yeah. Peter, can you hear me? Do you like fruitcake? Do I like fruitcake? Yeah. Like, um, I don't of... usually. I know that, I know that, like, this, the, the joke is that, like, oh, fruitcake is always bad, but I think, to be fair, I just think if a lot of people just don't know how to make it. Yeah. G46. Ah, bingo night. Bingo night! Your number, Ida. Oh, 65. Oh, he's the priest. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? And 32. We're calling bingo. We need to talk. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm a little bit busy at the moment. He became more Irish as a priest. How am I supposed to help this family? I didn't exactly do a bang-up job with my own life. And everybody's like, lady, this is bingo? <laughs> Man, this is a Wendy's. Man, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I never knew three people living in the same house could be so disconnected from each other. Here's a winner. Call to adventure. Or was that the other part? What those three really need is to find each other again. N32. Bingo! He was like, you got there. You found it. Ah, just in time for a big hearty breakfast. I never eat breakfast, hearty or otherwise. Well, you're eating breakfast this morning. It's like, I will shove it down your throat <laughs> yeah. if I have to. I set the clocks up half an hour. You got plenty of time. Put your butt in a seat. Waffles? I'm sure it's like 3,000 calories. I mean, a waffle. Really not that bad. I guess it just depends on how much. Yeah, stuff if it's you put one on. waffle, I can't imagine how it's three thousand calories. No, rock and roll. Those teenagers with their rock and roll music. Yeah, and it's these dang teenagers. Just some good old fashioned conversation for a change. They're like, what? Talk to each other? Um. What's new, kids? How do you, you do, do, fellow, fellow kids? kids? <laughs> you know, Rachel. She invited me to go skiing with her family. You mean over Christmas? He doesn't do Christmas. And he's like, you don't get to go anywhere and do Christmas either. Yeah. I'm bringing you down with me. The point is to be with your family. What family? I mean, they're talking to each other at least. Yeah. They're talking loudly. I'm not a therapist. Yeah. So maybe this is the first step. Can't work through your problems until you're talking first, I guess. What's the matter with you now? Why do you always have to pick on me? Poor kid. He's like, I didn't do anything. Thanks for breakfast. This is your fault. I could have just kept ignoring my kids. Like a regular parent. Sarah? The picture of a 90s teenager. Graphics for video is what it says on the <laughs> computer screen. Just one singular video? I go make us some hot cocoa. We go sit by the fire, have a heart to heart. And yeah, it's a 90s movie. We need a heart to heart. Frame rate looks like it changed all of a sudden. I don't yeah, know if to that's like, just... Yeah, to like 60 or something. Yeah, for a second I was just like, is it just the internet or the player? But yeah, it, it seemed really smooth all of a sudden. Yeah, the shutter speed? Or the shutter angle? Yeah, and then maybe you could paint my nails and teach me how to put on blush. Yeah, this looks normal. I'm not very good at real football. Like Wii Bowling, where you're like, I can bowl 300 every single time. Don't give me a real bowling yeah. ball, though. Like Eddie Burback? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good. Kid needs a pep talk. How am I going to help him at all? Oh, it's like Stranger Things. Oh my god. <laughs> Peter just comes like busting through the wall like a Demogorgon. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> taking out all the lights. Oh, taking out yeah, all yep. the electricity. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say that like when the power goes out, there's a little part of me that's just like... That's <gasps> how I die. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh. I'll go check the circuit breakers. Don't bother, I just checked it. There's a lot of light in this house for there being yeah. no no power. Yeah. I mean, it is morning time. I guess yeah. that's fair. Sit down. I don't want to sit down. Well, I don't care what you want. Did I ask for your opinion? It is the last thing I do, and it very well may be. Are you going to kill us after this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They don't know that. They don't know the context of that. <laughs> well, then just do the fa la 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 Come on, let's try it again. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. <laughs> Tis the season to be jolly. 
Fa la 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 la. I mean, you don't hire Dolly Parton for nothing. Nah. I hate Christmas songs. Has all I want for Christmas is you come out yet? Because the, you're never gonna not hear it <laughs> yeah. again. Is this almost over? Because Young and the Restless is on. My mom was really into Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful, so like oh, yeah. when I was little, I'd be like, ooh, Young and the Restless is on. Did you ever sing with a band? Oh yeah, she was somewhat famous before she died. Or I guess not famous enough for like them to know who she was. Yeah. Were you any good? My family and friends thought so. Oh, well, they don't count. Family lies to you, they don't <laughs> yeah. count. Now I know, they're the ones that count the most. Oh, those fridges that are always wood paneled always freak me out because I'm like, oh, it was a yeah. fridge the whole time. <laughs> Does your dad ever talk about getting married again? Like, I got nothing. Oh, we used to do that. Oh, with the picture as yeah. an ornament? Oh. Look at that, Sarah, age six. A very big one, though. Yeah, I don't know how it doesn't just fall off the branch. We also had, I also had an ornament that was like a little tiny, like, uh, journal notebook thing, and you were, you open it up and you write your favorite thing about that Christmas every year in it. <laughs> I still put it up on the tree. I can't just drop everything to run off my Christmas tree. He's like, you take him to get a Christmas tree. No. Hey, watch it, I've got a date tonight. Oh, the architect guy? No, the computer guy. Why <laughs> She did not seem excited about yeah. the computer guy. Hi, I'm Allison Myers. I'm Ruby. She push her out of the yeah. way? Go, get out of here and get a tree. Now wait a minute. Be business, Dad. I'm not supposed to love my kids. Out loud. Out loud. <laughs> Sarah, I think you're oh, old enough this year. Sorry, shit. Dad. I refuse to hurt a living thing. Save the planet, kid. Let me hold the handle I'm and you swing. Oh gosh, if they're, oh, no. they're fighting, please don't hit the kid. You know, be careful because it's kind of. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> Matt, will you let me just help you a little? Matthew, we. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. With an oh, no. axe. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh no! I knocked over Sanders and sister. Hang on. Hi everyone. So this is just going to be half of the video. Oh my god. Okay, there goes my nomination for Father of the Year. Oh, you already lost that. <laughs> I'm not even sure you were gonna get a participation award. Peter's like, here, here's a tree, just take it. What do you want, ma'am? He would send her somebody to get it for. Well, they have a tree. Matthew, it's me, may I come in? It just kept, like, magically giving her new outfits. Well, they did give her, like, a big suitcase, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. You need to cut him some slack. Help me out, okay? I gotta do a good job here. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> oh, you nice. get it? Cause it's, it's, it's yeah. It's, it's... Well, let me put it this way: it's gonna be hell. I think my pun was better. How nice do we have to be? How nice can you be? <laughs> I just wanna thank you for taking off from work today. Oh. What's wrong with your shoulder? Just a pinched nerve, I guess. You want me to give that rub? No. Of course. That's cause I usually speak my mind. I just let it all out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sound effects. Yeah, yeah, the Bible. All right, all right, I get the message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me a break, okay? Ruby's talking to herself. I'm, I'm gonna leave before Walk this away gets slowly. <laughs> before this gets weirder. I believe in you, whoever's playing the piano. Well. Why'd you stop, Matthew? That was good. Dolly Parton apparently wrote the song 9 to 5 on the set of 9 to 5 on her acrylic nails because she didn't have a guitar. She kept rhythm with the, with the nails. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Found a harmony in there. Nice. Jingle bells, jingle bells. You're going, yeah. you're going faster. Yeah. In a one horse open sleigh. All of a sudden, the kid can play pretty perfectly. This needs to go on the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. And then we got a shot. Kids sing in harmonies? Yeah. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Wow, good job, kid. Nice. <laughs> He's a musical genius. Yeah. <laughs> the prodigy. Oh, Jerry Lee ain't got nothing on you, boy. That was good. Kid's like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll take it as a compliment. Judging by your tone and context. <laughs> yeah. She's schizo or something. Get out of here. Judgy. Bless you. Thank you. If she's an escaped convict, I'm not gonna be the one who turns her in. He's like, she taught me piano. Yeah, I'm what? not sending her to prison. <laughs> 
Also, she got us ice cream. She's a nice convict, at worst. How'd you get into the nanny thing? I guess you could say I just sort of fell into it. She really did fall into it. Yep. You sure you're gonna be all right by yourself? I'm sure. She's like, I'm 16 and this is the 90s. I've been raising myself for a while. Oh, no? I think she's 14. Oh, is she only 14? Yeah. Well, now I'm more concerned about the boy on the bike, on the motorbike. It's depending on the state, you can get a bike kind of young. Yeah. I get off at six. You wanna hang? Oh, that is so grunge. Oh, it's motorbike boy. Motorbike boy. That guy is too old to be to be hanging with a 14 year old. <laughs> I was looking for an album. I think it's by Ruby Diamond. If it's on vinyl, I can't help you. Not like the. Those, those newfangled okay. CD songs. Yeah. Shoplifting! Did she just randomly find exactly what she needed? Maybe. Peter sent it. What is going on? This your daughter, man? Oh, whoops. I caught a shoplifting, man. No. God damn it, Sarah. <laughs> I trusted you. What are they hauling her off to jail? What the hell is going on here? Well, yelling isn't gonna get it done any faster. I don't gotta know where you were when you were supposed to be supervising my children. Oh, huh. Never mind, Epic, because you're fired. Come on. Kind of abrupt. Could have at least waited for an explanation. Yeah, there was no explanation. Oh. <laughs> Saint Peter Claus. Yeah. You could have warned me, you know. Children will be naughty. Damn it, Peter, I need you to stop talking in riddles. Stop being so cryptic. <laughs> From once in my life. Afterlife. He's like, you're dead. You don't have a life. Are you going up or down? <laughs> Are you going up or down? I think I'm gonna take the stairs. He's like, I don't trust you. Oh, excuse me, miss. He's in a meeting. Of course, he's VP of marketing. Of course, he is. Your kids didn't just lose a mother; they lost a father too. The secretary is like, ooh, I should have brought popcorn to work. Whether she knows it or not, she's just trying to get your attention. Whoa. And Matthew, bless his little heart, all he wants to do is grow up to be just like his dad. Ooh. <laughs> Life is short, my friend. Unfortunately, you should know that better than anybody. Harsh. You're still going to have two hungry children at home who are starving to death for your love. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I like that she has the guitar with her. Yeah, I don't know what she brought it in for. This is part where you're supposed to say, you're right, Ruby. Thanks, Ruby, for yelling at me at work. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you by offering your job back. The power move would be just quitting right now. <laughs> yeah. Get back to work. I have big business to add things. I apologize for being rude to you. Oh. No. See, I'm not buying that she was a terrible person her whole life. I just want you to know I agree with you. He deserved it. Oh, is this your office? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's not a secretary. I apologize. Look at all these angels. A lot of coffee in the back. She is also into coffee. Coffee and angels are her two favorite things. You can never have too many angels looking out for you, I guess. You get it? Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. He loves Sarah and Matthew so dearly. He's just afraid of getting close. Yeah, but they're his kids. Like, <laughs> he wasn't close with them before. Yeah. That angel hair pasta was just fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought everything was divine. I thought everything was divine. You were grounded, then you get arrested. It's so, like you're gonna hold this against me for the rest of my life? No, just until you're done being grounded. Wish I was dead. Wish I was, was dead. dead. Wow, that is a very teenager angsty thing to say. Yikes. Why didn't she just run me over with a dump truck? Yeah, not yet. <laughs> but she could drive, he better watch out. Oh. I can meet him every Oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, she's got sharp claws. <laughs> Sorry. Harry, be careful with your claws. River Hollow mourns the loss of songstress Ruby Diamond, 41. 41? 41. <laughs> it's the Federal Witness Protection Program, isn't it? So that yeah. would be a more logical explanation, yeah. to be fair. You see, this uh, 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 this nanny thing, it, it, it's just covered. Got massive dirt on the nanny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I suppose I could be persuaded to play along. All you have to do is talk him into letting me go skiing with Rachel. All you have to do is really? talk him into letting me go skiing with Rachel. just got here. I don't want you to go away. Is she gonna not gonna be here for Christmas then? Oh. I wish I didn't have to leave. She's like, trust me, depending on how this goes, I might I might really not want to leave. <laughs> I can't be both mother and father. Well, be a father. Here, are you watching the movie? Do you ever think about getting married again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
I think it's about time, don't you? Wife's only been gone two years. Yeah. Well, maybe you've already met somebody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I oh, see no. what's going on. I think you're a wonderful person, but... Oh, no, I didn't want you to think Oh, I... no. She's like, not me, dumbass. <laughs> oh, she is staying at the house. I have a confession to make. I'm in the mob. <laughs> been afraid of my feelings. Oh, no. But not anymore. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And Peter's just up there like... It was all a dream. Oh my god. Ow. I'm gonna put like a flash warning on this scene. It was just a dream. I mean, I may be dead, but I'm not dead. <laughs> Peter's like, go to horny jail. I don't think you fully appreciate your situation. Oh my god. I warned you about them rules. <laughs> all the different voices. I finally meet the kind of man I can see spending the rest of my life with, and wouldn't you know it, I'm dead. Bummer. Grief, Allison, if that's how you feel, how come you never said anything to Ben about it? Extra just dropped something. Oh, did they? Yeah. I've, it's very possible. They were like, just go with it. People drop stuff in real life. But where I'm going, it ain't gonna matter what I weigh. Where you going? Die. Iceland? <laughs> very non judgmental yeah. in Iceland. Hey, me and the kids are planning a real nice dinner tonight. Why don't you come over? <laughs> My mom loves dancing with sugar fairies. Is that a bassoon? Oh, Dan plenty. Danielle, if you're watching this, can you tell us in the comments if that was a bassoon? <laughs> yeah, please. We didn't know about France, and we don't, don't know, know about, about bassoons. bassoons. See, Dolly Parton Southern, the table's always perfectly yeah. set with yeah. all the dishware. It's not even Christmas yet. It's the night before Christmas Eve, more important than Christmas in many different cultures around the world. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Go wait in the living room until it's ready. Like, like a wedding. It's bad luck. It is true. Sometimes uh, Christmas Eve is like more, not important, but like Christmas Eve yeah, it's, it's feels like more festive, the heart of Christmas, yeah, yeah. I guess. That angel looks like it's been through something. Oh. Oh. Of course. Oh, oh of course. No. Sound effects kill me though. Yeah. Allison. Poor Allison. Don't go. She's like, please bury this man. No one else will. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Allison. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what do you want me to do? Leviticus. <laughs> Leviticus and Deuteronomy. 24 hours is not enough to do the trick. The good Lord made the heavens and earth in a week. Yeah. <laughs> Peter is so sarcastic. Yeah. Wait, so this premise implies that there's lots of people out there right now, lots of angels trying to get their wings, so Peter's yeah. just like, this is just what Peter does. Yeah. It's possible. I thought that was Perry yeah. for a second, I was very confused. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know you were coming in today. What's going on? I'm quitting. She's quitting? Whoa! What? <laughs> Yesterday she wasn't even gonna ask him out, now she's quitting? <laughs> wow, that is, that is a lot. Give me one good reason why I should stay. Help! I need you! I need you to do all this paperwork. <laughs> if for one thing, there's a Hayworth account. We never would have landed that client if it hadn't been for you. Oh, dude. Oh, you were oh, so close. Oh, God. Oh, you were so close, man. Al? No, Ben. It's Allison. <laughs> I almost forgot you're going skiing. I almost forgot. It's just because I think about you so little through the day, honey. <laughs> he said he wanted you to meet him tonight for drinks, 10 o'clock in the Blue Room at the Huntington Hotel. Doesn't he know it's Christmas Eve? Again, three days ago, he wasn't celebrating Christmas yeah. at all. Yes, this is she. Uh, this is Mr. Hayworth's assistant. Mr. Hayworth would like you to meet him tonight for drinks. Oh, I see what they're doing. They are parent trapping. They're parent trapping them. Yay! <laughs> I quit the firm. She says she quit the firm. My lie doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Tell her he needs to see her anyway. It, 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 life or death. Uh, life or death. <laughs> yeah, life or death. Life lessons. It's a good thing those phones didn't have caller ID. <laughs> Simpler times. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is his home phone number. I mean, she's kind of known them for a while, right? She yeah. should have noticed her, it was her voice, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, the frame rate keeps changing. I have no idea why. Uh, it's probably some sort of maybe transcoding process. Our whole future could be decided tonight. How could I miss it? I mean, 
You don't have to put that much pressure on it. How'd you get here? Oh, don't tell Dad. Jeremiah brought me on his bike. Dad, I'm home for Christmas because of my sketchy boyfriend that nobody likes. Mix of good and bad information. What's going on? I was just gonna ask you the same thing. I was thinking of a table in the darkest corner you got. And they look over and they're like, damn it, kids! Well, I got a call from Hayworth. His assistant said it was a life or death situation. I'm still not sure why she's there if she quit. Wow. I mean, Maybe I just to like not to burn a bridge with the I clients. I guess so, yeah. That makes sense. Ruby Diamond! Oh, that's, oh. That's, that's who she wants to meet, though. Yeah. It is certainly a special honor to sing here tonight. But I'm already dead. <laughs> and I want to dedicate this song to a very special couple in the audience tonight. This can only go one of two ways. Perfectly or horribly. <laughs> yeah. There is no in-between. Yeah. And I hope they listen closely. Sure, this is gonna be a very subtle song. Yeah. I like how the little kid is in a suit. Like the phoenix from the ash and dirt. It's very sparkly. Yeah. Unlike the angel. There it is. Yeah. That's the name of the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rolls credits. The rolls credits. <laughs> You're good, you're good. Right. <laughs> I just noticed that he still has the ring on his uh, his wedding band on his finger. Yeah, poor man's barely moved on. Yeah. They're like, we do actually like each other. Thanks, Dolly Parton. I like the angel. This was the 90s. I wonder if they did a tie-in music video. <laughs> I feel like they would have. Is it just me or is that like a, is it just a strange looking guitar? She's playing? Yeah. No, it's a it's a classical guitar. Okay. You're, you're talking about the head of the guitar. That's, yeah, uh, I was just it just looked different. Um, I don't know that much about guitars. At least I think it's classical. Depends on the strings and the yeah. action on the frets and how wide the neck is. I think we can't play most of this song because we did no. copyright claimed and it's Dolly Parton. So. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dolly Parton would probably be cool with it. Yeah, Dolly Parton's, Parton's label, label would yeah. be cool with it. We can put in clips though. Get sucked up into heaven. <laughs> yeah. I want you to spend Christmas with us. Okay. Well, she didn't have to think oh, yeah, about it yeah. at all. <laughs> I want you to stick around. Yeah. Yeah. At least until like July. <laughs> we can reevaluate. Well, why didn't you stop him? It is my job to welcome guests. <laughs> <laughs> Where could he be? It's almost midnight. Poor kid. He hasn't quite moved on. No. I'm glad you came back. Now she gets to have the heart to heart. Yeah. Do you realize how late it is? I'm afraid I do. Got 30 minutes, go. Speed run. Sneaking into heaven. Speed run. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll find him. By the way, Wait. hate to interrupt this moment. Well, where did he your go? other kid's kind of missing. Yeah. Is this just them walking in front of the lamp? I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be happening or not. Where do you think you're going, Ruby? Oh, no. It's almost midnight. It's almost. Midnight. Yeah. Bottom of the night, dude. But I haven't finished my job yet. Yeah, imagine if, like, no the bottom of the last time. inning, they're just like, eh, it's close enough. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody, I think I know where to find it. Oh, the creepy abandoned playground. Did you call, Tiger? Tiger. What a 90s dad yeah. thing to call your kid. Come on, sport. Champ. Kiddo. Pal. Something about the giant suit on this little yeah. kid just gave me, like, boss baby vibes. Yeah. <laughs> There's still room in my heart to love other people, too. When you get older, you'll understand. Dating's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he starts, like, giving him the whole, like, talk about yeah. dating right there. They don't need you anymore. They won't remember you've ever been here. Wait, sorry. So, wait. Whoa. Hold on. So what are they gonna think happened? I guess it's gonna be like a spoiler alert third Spider-Man movie. <gasps> Not the spoiler alert. You have passed the supreme test. Pop quiz! She passed the pop quiz. What? What? <laughs> she didn't have that. Matthew, where did you get that? I sold it. That's what Christmas is all about. Back to the Cottonelle commercial. Chili cream cheese commercial. I knew she was gonna look like one of the angels at the end. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
A lot of things just happen in a single second. She got her wings. She's gonna get to sing in the choir. For the Lord God of that 80s fade in. Well, I guess it's the 90s. Oh, it is like, 90s, that's right. peak 90s. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My brain's still stuck on, uh, I believe in Santa Claus. Yeah. The kingdom is become King of Kings. We didn't have an choir at our church growing up. We had a we had a guy who was very nice and liked to play the um, accordion. Like Weird Al. <laughs> yeah. They've covered up the green screening with all of the, like, fog, though. Yeah, but it's Mostly. really hard with her hair. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> oh, that was so much better than the than the child soldier yeah. movie. I'm glad we did it, did the double feature this way. Um, it really would have gone downhill in the we second did the, half. We did the shot in the chaser. This was the chaser. <laughs> Oh my god, if they haven't seen the I Believe in Santa Claus video, it's a oh lot. Oh my gosh. We're still recovering. We almost didn't even film this today because we were like, are we going to have the strength to do anything else today? Yeah. Uh, but I like that. That was, it was cute. That was oh, cute. Dolly Parton got to executive produce. Yeah. Um, oh, of course she did. She wrote all the songs. She's yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. It's cute. No, it was really cute. It was like very peak 90s. Can't go wrong with Dolly Parton uh, singing some tunes in your... It, movie. It felt like a Hallmark movie, but with like better lighting. <laughs> yeah, more yeah. purposeful. Yeah, um, a little bit more thought out. Yeah, I thought actually thought the the acting from the dad was was, was quite good. Yeah. All right, let's find out who. Uh, yeah, we need to find out who. Because I remember I recognize the mom or the 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 soon to be stepmom, I guess, and the dad. Well, uh, Roddy McDowell is Peter, okay. and then Brian Kerwin, Allison Mack is the daughter. Oh, Alice, that Alice and Mac. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that was the movie. I, 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 anything is better than, than I believe in Santa Claus. Yeah, that was, that was definitely a shot. And this was definitely a nice chaser. <laughs> Every time I think I've seen, like, the weirdest movie that could possibly be. Yeah, I movie. somehow find a weirder one. Yeah, and that's just, like, this whole channel, but especially when you send me Christmas movies, I don't know what it is specifically, yeah. it's just, like, there's just something about Christmas movies, they're just making so many yeah. of them that they're just like, what could we try next? Child <laughs> soldiers, <laughs> like... Okay, if I find another one next year, you gotta, like, use this clip that we're talking about right now as the header. Here's video. I'm, I'm afraid that's definitely yeah. gonna be a thing. <laughs> But we'll let you guys go. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so. That's Anton, who is also a YouTuber. <laughs> Thanks to you guys. This is technically a YouTube channel. Bye. Bye.